Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech. I want to show you a, cool, uh, a couple of cool tricks you can do on your Google TV device. Um, for one, if you don't know how to reset it, by the way, it's Alt, Control, Delete. Hold those three down to reset it. In case it, like, you know, locks up for some reason, even though mine doesn't. Uh, this is a universal remote, if you not you did not know. And the universal remote controls your cable box, your TV, and your surround sound. All right? You hit volume up. Or you can hit channel up. Okay, you can turn the TV off and on. You can turn everything off and on. All right? And basically, it just connects to your HD cable box. That's all it does. It enhances your cable experience and your search. You can hit search. When you search, it searches the cable box, the internet, and Netflix, and YouTube. So it's like the ultimate search. Anyway, let's get to the point. All right, and hit the back button. Get out of that. And mute. And uh, so when you hit the home button, here's another trick I want to show you. You'll see that right there. That right there, Avia and Pandora. Well, you know what Pandora is. It's just internet radio. But Avia is where I connect my home, uh, put all my home videos and my family photos on my external hard drive, my USB external hard drive, which is connected right down here on my Google TV device. Okay? Now, um, basically, once it's connected, I could just go up here and just select that and access my home videos and my pictures. That's all, it's just a shortcut. And it works a little bit better than the Logitech Media Player. If you use that, it's a little slower. But this one is a lot faster. Avia is faster than the Logitech Media Player. And going moving forward. All right. Hit the home button. When you hit the home button, it pulls up the quick dashboard. And you go ahead and hit the menu button. And you go down. And OK. And then you can add another widget, like a clock. Or whatever you have. You download more widgets at the Google Play Store. If you don't know where the Google Play Store is, just hit the search and search it. You just type in Google or Play Store or whatever. Alright. Um, and let's get out of that. So you can actually move it around by the way. So click on move, move it around. Alright, click on it again to remove it. Right, you also do the same thing down here. I move, you can move it around, click on it again, and hit done to save it. But if you want to swap something out, see right here, these are the ones I recommend. If you have kids, I got the cartoons now. So these are classic cartoons. Um, also right here, Netflix, photos from my, photos and videos on the white says photos, but photos and videos from my Google Play uh, Google Plus. And my music I bought on my Google Play Store which is linked up to my tablet. If you have the same email account, it'll link up to, if you have an Android phone or Android tablet, it all links up to your Google TV device. And Redux TVs, internet TV, which is pretty cool. It has a lot of, you know, plays, Xbox channel, it has a PlayStation channel, a lot of cool things, music channel, uh, YouTube, you know what YouTube is, Google Chrome, internet browser. All right, so if you want to, Swap them, hit replace, and you can go down and just swap it to whatever you want. So I'll do the Disney Channel. So I swapped it to the Disney Channel and click on done. All right. Also, another cool thing is hit the home button again and hit menu. Oh, to get the favorites, by the way, if you want to add the favorites, you can click on the star. And you can add favorites. Okay, if you were wondering about that. And your DVR list, your recordings, and your TV guide for your cable box all right here. This is fast access straight to the live TV is playing. But you probably already knew that. This is the last channel. Hit tab and it goes back to the last channel. So anyway, moving forward, let's go ahead and hit home and then menu. Go down to home and apps. Oh, you can change your wallpaper too. All right, let's click on wallpaper, and let's click on that one. All right, and 
you can uninstall apps and add apps. You go as soon as your Google TV device turns on, you can set which app you want. But basically, if you hit uh, Alt Control Delete, you know what I mean. It will go straight to like whatever app you set it to. All right, let's get back out of that. Hit Home. Do do do. Hit the menu button. Go down to System Settings. Okay, once you go to System Settings. You know, getting network, TV source, blah blah blah. This is how you program your TV remote to this thing. Uh, input. Oh, the uninstall apps is right here. Uh, input devices. Click on that. Go down. This is how you pair another controller. It's Harmony Remote friendly. You can also download the Harmony Remote on your uh, app on your phone, and you control your Google TV device and your TV and your surround sound. If you have a home in your remote, it does the same. You just have to pair it. Uh, right, and this is how you do it. See here it says manage paired phones, blah, 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 all that cool stuff. Manage paired devices, remove them too. And let's go to input. Uh, input, yeah. New, I was wrong. No matter. Customize. You want to customize controller keys. That's it. Now let's log it in. And you can customize and program any key on your surround sound, your TV, and your cable box. All on here. By holding down function and A, access is the AnyNet feature. You can even control your PlayStation 3 if you have the HDMI control on your PlayStation 3. And you can use the TV remote to control the PlayStation 3. I have a video showing you how to do that. Just check out my uh, Tampa Tech channel and look under PlayStation 3 playlist all right but anyway or the harmony remote I think I added it to the harmony remote playlist Logitech harmony remote playlist uh, what else so you just basically um, I uh, you click on let's click on this one L I click on L it says Samsung cable box which is that top box is the cable box and then previous channel. So if I hold down function and L, it goes back to your previous channel. Well, even though tab does the same thing. I was just showing you. So I gotta change that, click on that, and click on TV. And then I can basically, these are all the TV buttons on my TV remote. So I could just select whatever one I want, really. So it's kind of cool. And hit back, and then hit OK once you want to save it. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, you can customize the whole entire thing. And if you don't like the full-size keyboard, they sell a mini, you know, the text, I figure what it's called, but it's just uh, type in Logitech review uh, accessories and you'll see it on um, YouTube. And what else is there? That's pretty much it. I think, uh, let me know if you know any tips and tricks for that I missed out on. Post a comment below. i like to know everything there is to know about this thing. It's kind of cool. I really love it and I highly recommend it. And basically, uh, these are my top apps right here too. Also, you know, uh, if you don't have Redux TV, download it. You won't regret it. All right. Thanks for watching. Post comments, subscribe, share.